Hello viewers, I am Dr. Jasmeet Kaur Vadwa, pulmonologist, allergist, bronchoscopist and TB specialist. I am heading this centre called Asthma Allergy TB Chest and Child Centre at A5B Janakpuri. I am also attached at Sri Balaji Action Medical Institute and BL Kapoor Hospital. I am going to talk about a test which is skin prick test. Many patients ask me ma'am what is this test and how is it done and how is it helpful. First of all, I want to tell you it is really helpful. If you have some form of allergies, in the form of allergies which is running nose, difficulty in breathing, wheezing, even allergic in the in the eyes itself or in the skin, we say atopic dermatitis, then you should get this test done. We initially do an IgE levels and the eosinophilia count. Many patients have high IgE blood levels, but this test is done on skin. Because many of us are sensitized to many of the allergens which are seasonal and non-seasonal. There's a list of it. And these lists is actually scientifically based. What I do the test is a scientific allergens which are aero allergens and the food allergens which actually we put it on the skin of the patient and it is hardly a touch test which we will describe you in the video itself and you will get the result in just 10 minutes with no side effects. Most of the time, we are actually exposed to many of the allergens like this is a house dust mite allergen, which is an indoor allergen. Our patient, children, we are exposed to the indoor allergens and dust. What you see in your layman language is dust. It's basically a dust mite. You may be sensitized to that. You may be sensitized to such pollens and dog danders. So actually, we all test with these moles and the fungal allergies. But the testing is always is better done on a skin. It is a skin prick test which we test around 20 to 25 aeroallergens, which is a group of allergens of pollens, dust mite, fungal, insects, and dog tender. And there are a few nuts allergies also what we see in our children and in our patients. And this is a list of it, which is actually, this list is uh, not mine, but it is scientifically based on the studies previously done on the patient and we have found that patients are sensitized to these type of allergens and if we identify these allergens on the skin which is done in an OPD basis in just 10 minutes and it can be done above any age group above two or three years of the age till 60 65 and they are very specific that means if you have the sensitization allergy you will get the result and if you don't have it you will not get the result many of the patients have to miss that should we take rice should we take curd should we take milk but these are all myths. If you have sensitized to that allergen, it comes on a skin prick test or on your history. So I would suggest go for the skin prick test if it is needed for you so, get, so as to get the cure of the disease. Because we will be starting, most of the patient, uh, we start having the avoidance of allergen. We also give along with that uh, proper treatment. And gradually we tell them how to get rid of it by, uh, in, by specific precautions and specific treatment. And gradually, over the few months, you get the cure of this allergy. So please go for this test if your physician says so. I perform a skin prick test or an allergy test on a child. He is around 8 years old. We can do it above 2 years of the age and specifically better result above 4 years of the age. This child is 8 years old and it is a very simple OPD procedure. In this procedure, we generally, it is not exactly a prick. It is just a touch on the skin when we uh, put the drop of allergen. So the procedure starts like this. First we have to clean the child's forearm properly with a spirit swab. The way we are cleaning it right now. Actually we have already cleaned it but we are doing it for this to show you. When we have already cleaned it thoroughly then we tell the child to put his forearms like this and we start marking on the arm. We have to reach the space over here and this is the marking normally what we do it. So this is the normal control we take it and the other allergens. So approximately I am doing around 30-36 allergens. Few are the aero allergens and few are the food allergens. So it is a very simple and a very specific OPD procedure and nothing has to be worried that it's a prick and the child going to get a lot of pricks in that. No, it is not like that. This is the specificity of the procedure that whichever comes positive, 
it comes positive, whichever comes negative, it comes negative. So in this arm we put the aero allergen and this we're going to mark for the food allergens. And prior to this test, they should not take any anti-allergic for 48 hours for the steroids. If they are on any inhalers, that can be taken. But it is better that you meet your doctor before you get a skin testing because a general checkup is required initially. So these are the, we are putting the drop of allergens. This way we have put a drop and we have just lift it with the skin, uh, with the needle and we will leave it. Now we will damp it and after 15 minutes we will see the reaction. So this is again another way, look at this. So we noted the time and now we are going to wipe it with a tissue paper. And after 10 minutes the reaction is going to come which we are going to measure. This is the way we are going to complete the whole list of Eru and the food allergens and we will look at after 10 to 15 minutes.